Hello guys, good evening. This is Yolanda. I want to go ahead and bring you a video today. For those of you that are eBay listers, uh, whether you're drop shipping or otherwise, and for those that uh, use the new software program uh, called ELP or eLister e Pro. Um, so in this video I want to share with you, um, for those of you that knows the program, uh, let me go here. Uh, this is eLister Pro, and eLister Pro helps you to list your uh, items up on eBay uh, real quickly. Um, it cuts through a lot of the time that it takes you to get your listings up. Now, mind you that this is not an automatic lister. It would not list the item for you. You have to manually go in and list that that list, uh, put that listing up on eBay. So I've seen questions come in about um, how to list your item and uh, add images into your description, which eLister Pro does not do that for you. Um, it does upload some images if you're uploading from Amazon. If you're a dropshipper and using uh, Amazon as your dropshipper, as your uh, uh, source, um, eLister uh, will pull um, the listing and images from uh, Amazon for you and create a template. So we're going to go ahead here and um, and start doing a listing and I'll show you how you can go in and add images into your description and this is not only for eLister Pro but if you are just not even using eLister Pro and just listing basically without the software you can still do the same thing so let's go ahead here and I'm gonna go into the Pro section Okay. And right here you'll see uh, where you upload the information needed to create your listing. Uh, and we're going to go over here to Amazon. Okay, and I've already pulled up something that we're going to just do a test listing. Uh, I probably wouldn't actually list this, but I'm going to show you um, basically how to upload your images. Uh, do your listing and upload your images into the description on eBay. So what you will do with eLister Pro, you'll come in here and you, you'll go ahead and copy uh, the URL of uh, the item from Amazon. We're going to go back over to eLister Pro and we're going to paste that URL right in here. Okay, and down here it says pull the product information which is going to drag everything that is described in that uh, uh, item from Amazon and pull it right into this program. So I'll click there and here we have it. It does pull a picture. Now sometimes you might say well Elisa Pro is not uploading my images um, and that is only because certain items have different um, uh, sizes or colors or whatnot, what have you, um, and it it seems to have a problem uh, just pulling all that description into which into the program. But uh, in this this video, I will show you how you can um, go ahead and uh, take care of this. This might be a two-part video, so uh, just bear with me as I go through here. So now we. Go ahead and we pull that description in. Okay, and I'm gonna leave all that there. I'm not gonna go through this. Uh, we're just gonna try to get to the eBay listing. Okay, so we're gonna submit our details here. And mind you, you have to, um, per eBay policy, you have to not copy word for word your description from any site and and upload it to eBay. To your eBay listing. So, okay, so this is a basic template that uh, eLista created for you. Um, right down here, you will see keywords, uh, which are uh, 
will which which will be displayed uh, on the bottom uh, for the search engines. Okay. So now that we have our list in, and I'm going to submit here. What's it going to do now? It's going to give you your HTML, uh, both title and the description, and we'll go ahead and select this. Okay. And bear with me one second. I'm going to go back to Amazon here. And let's just say we're going to look for this. Your pillow. Might be copying a little too much, but I'm going to go back to eBay and search for this item. And this is just demonstration purposes. Um, and there we have it. It pulled it up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on here. And open this one up and let's see we're going to come here we're going to select settle now okay I'm just going through this a little bit quick just to get to the list and here we go so we're going to create our list and I'm going to leave all this as is knowing that uh, you do know how to change and, and optimize your your title and whatnot all this information you will fill in and uh, take care of it um, take care of all that missing information there. So I'm going to come down here, okay. Uh, basically, let me come back up here. So I'm going to do this. That's the that's the, uh, the seller's title, which we don't want to use. So I'm going to come back over to, sorry, e-lister. And we're going to highlight, just click in there, and it'll highlight the whole title for you. I'm going to open and copy this go back to eBay to create my listing. I'm going to right click here and paste get my title in there. Uh, of course you're going to upload, upload your images and we do have a program um, that's called Jing and maybe I would go back here. Well I don't even want to do that. I'm just going to grab a picture and you know, uh, I, I'll skip that just so you know you can do that. I'll, there's another video I can show you how to um, uh, put an image in here and upload it from the web from the, uh, website. Okay, so let's go on to the HTML. So as you see, this blank page here where your description goes. Uh, you're looking in the standard mode right now. Uh, we want to go to the HTML mode. Okay, so an HTML. HTML mode, you want to put nothing but HTML in here. And I'm going to go back to eLister Pro. I'm going to click in there. It's going to highlight it again. You're going to right click. You're going to copy e back to eBay. We're going to come back here, click in the box, right click, and paste. Okay. Now you're going to go over to your standard view, and there's your description. Okay, so now what I do is you can see there's no images in in the description. So, based again based on uh, eBay's policy, you would need to um, uh, touch this up a little bit and change uh, some of the wording so it doesn't uh, show that you are copying uh, directly from the website. So what I do, I give myself some space, and I'm gonna. I, I like to put um, some characters in here. Again, you're in the standard view. Uh, it's going to help to see where the HTML will go for your image. Uh, I'm going to put some characters here. I'm going to type H-E-R-E -E because it makes it a lot simpler. and You can put whatever characters or information you want in a blank space here. So when you go to HTML, uh, view you can find your location okay it'll make it easier so I'm going to show you right now how that works I'm going to go over to HTML and you're going to search through the HTML so I'm going to search through HTML to find the characters that you type and here is mine right there's usually not too far from the top and I I like that section okay now to get an HTML code for your image, okay, I'm gonna come here, and this is not the same item that we took from from uh, 
Amazon. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to click on this one. It'll open it up. Now the program that I'm using here, uh, my images are stored online uh, through Photobucket. You go to photobucket.com, create yourself an account, and download the app so you can automatically be uploaded your images when you save them to your computer they're automatically uploaded to photo bucket and you have it here you come in here and you can um, you can um, uh, adjust your images either the size the the, the the lighting and and save it as a new file but anyway we're gonna come over here to your right and here's your HTML codes Okay. HTML codes and what you want to select here to put an image into your description would be the HTML okay you will copy that just click in there it'll copy it now just a FYI if you're uploading images from here um, you will to eBay instead of uploading from your computer you can come in here and take the direct link Okay, and you'll see it in eBay where you can pull that image from a website. So you use that second one, but for this purpose, our purposes now, you'll select the HTML code from here. Just click in the box, and it'll copy it. So we're going to go back over to eBay, and we're going to right-click right where we highlighted on our characters, and we're going to paste it there. Okay. Now you see it's kind of disappears all jumble in there. You can't understand what what it says there. So I'm come back over to standard, and voila, there's your image, right in your description. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna upload a picture, just to show you how that part goes. Um, it says here you can. Up, you can also copy your photos from a web address. So you want to click that, and we're going to go back over the photo bucket uh, right here, and we're going to let's take another one. Okay, we're going to take that one. So we're going to come over here to the direct link. You can click in there, highlight it, and we're going to come back over to eBay, and let me grab this from the bottom. And in this box here, you can copy that link on web app from the address, the web, sorry, and we're going to paste it there, okay? And that's all you need to do with that. And you click import, and it'll bring that image right in there. There you have it. Okay, so I'll come over here, I'll hit finish. Okay, so just so we can um, make sure I have enough stuff in here that... I'm just gonna do a price in here. Uh, just put one dollar. Um, and we're gonna skip all that. And we're gonna say, we need to fill this out. Return accepted. And we'll leave that there. Again, I'm not gonna list this. Um, I hit continue. I want to show you the live uh, listing. Well, the temporary live listing. Okay. And we're going to preview it so you can see that image was uploaded to your description. Here's the. Here we go. This is the one we uploaded from uh, Photo Bucket. Uh, the second one, HTML direct link. And you scroll down here. Here's your description. And uh, here is the image. Now, in Photo Bucket, you can change the size of this and make it smaller. Uh, usually eBay standards runs at 500, so you would want to select and resize your image in photo bucket to 500 at least. Okay, and there's your description. All this you can do using the eLister Pro program and photo bucket to upload your images into your description. I want to thank you, and I hope you will go ahead and like this video if you found value in it and share the video to help others that uh, you may know that could use this program. Alright, I thank you for watching and look forward to posting another video soon to you. Thank you and have a good night.